Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a trailing stop buy limit order. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty more Binance tutorials in a playlist on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check those out as well. Let's get into the video. Trailing stop limit buy orders can be a handy tool to catch a potential reversal in the market without having to guess where the bottom might be. So I'll show you how to set one up. First thing you need to do is come down to your order panel. You'll find a little triangle next to stop limit. From this drop down menu, select trailing stop. The first thing we need to do is establish an activation price. So let's come up here to the chart and let's just imagine that we're looking at this and we're thinking to ourselves, you know, Bitcoin's had a nice move to the upside recently, but maybe we're not convinced. Maybe Bitcoin's going to roll over and come to a new lower low, perhaps somewhere down below this price action right here. So maybe we want to use this area as our potential activation price to trigger a trailing buy order. So let's go ahead and mark that area out with a horizontal, something like this. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart, there's a price point correlating to that horizontal at 15,868. So let's come down here to the activation price on the buy side and let's type that in 15,868. Now we need to choose a trailing delta. This is going to be the distance that this buy order trails behind price. To do that, we'll come right here where it says trailing delta. We have a couple options. We can select one or 2% here, or you can put in a custom amount. For the purposes of demonstration, I'll just go ahead and put in 4%. This means the trailing buy order will follow behind price action by 4% if the activation price gets hit. Next, we need to choose a limit price. This is going to be the order that gets placed if our trailing buy order becomes active and then gets hit. So for the purposes of demonstration, I'll go ahead and I'll just put in 16,000 here. Now we're nearly ready to place this trailing stop buy limit order. So let's come back up here to the chart. In this particular situation, if price action were to roll over and come down to this price level here, the trailing stop limit buy order will be activated and will begin to follow behind price action by 4%. So if price action continues to the downside, and let's just say it gets down somewhere around 12,500, and then Bitcoin bounces, the moment it bounces 4%, which is our trailing delta, it's going to trigger our buy order of 16,000 or better from the order book. So if we're satisfied with that, we come back down here to the order panel, select the amount that we wish to either spend or how much of the asset we wish to purchase. This demonstration, I'll just go to 100%, and then we would click on buy BTC. Then we'll get an order confirmation pop-up window here, confirming the details of our order. We can see our activation price of 15,868. The moment price action hits that price point, our buy trailing stop will be activated and begin trailing behind price by 4%. The moment Bitcoin is to bounce by 4%, a limit order will be placed to buy at 16,000 or better from the order book. If everything checks out the way that you intended, you just simply click on confirm. Now we've placed that trailing stop buy order and we can see the details of that order down here under open orders. And if you look over here under trigger condition, we can see our activation price. And obviously this trailing buy order is not active as our trigger condition hasn't been hit. If at any point you want to cancel this order, just come over to this little trash can, give it a click. And as you can see, I've canceled the trailing stop buy order. We can also execute this order type without setting an activation price. If we do that, Binance will activate the trailing stop buy order immediately at the current market price. And it will begin trailing price action by the delta that you define down here in the delta box. As an example, I'll execute this trade idea without filling in the activation price. And for the purposes of demonstration, I'll just leave all these values the same. We'll go 100% here and I'll click on buy. Then we get our order confirmation pop-up window. Now we can see that the activation price is at the current market price. So the moment we hit confirm, the buy trailing stop will begin trailing price by 4%. When the asset bounces by more than 4%, a limit order will be placed at 16,000 in this particular situation. So for this to work, we would need price to get below 16,000 by more than 4%. If price action only retraced $1,000 from here, 
and bounced around $21,000, then this limit order would be placed on the order book, but obviously it wouldn't fill because price never got that low. So you'd want to set up price levels that make the most sense for your trade idea. But for the purposes of demonstration, I'll just go ahead and click on confirm. Now you'll notice when we come down here to open orders and over here to trigger conditions that this trailing stop buy order is activated. If price was to get way down below 16,000 and then bounce by 4%, then our buy order will be placed at 16,000 or better off of the order book. If price action was to retrace and bounce somewhere in here by 4%, the limit order would be placed, but obviously didn't fill because price action never got down to the $16,000 mark. If we want to cancel this order, we come down to our open orders over here on the right hand side, click this little trash icon. Now, as you can see, I've canceled the trailing stop buy order. So as you can see, it's a handy little tool for trying to catch a major bounce without having to guess how low price is going to go. Of course, you'll have to do your own technical analysis and choose levels that make the most sense for you with your trade idea. To learn more about trailing stops, you can come down here in your order panel, hover over this little icon right here, in this little box, come down and click on view more. And that'll bring you over to this page right here where Binance has a hidden little video for you. That'll go into some more details about trailing stops as well as a frequently asked questions section right here. I also have a video on how to set a trailing stop loss and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. And there you have it. That's how you can set up a trailing stop buy limit order. If you found that helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out my other Binance tutorials, which I put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.